All right. Well, as always, I want to thank our fans and our students who came out tonight and supported us. And uh, certainly a lot of credit to Georgia Tech. I think Coach Key's doing a good job. They're a talented football team. And uh, they deserve to win the game. Um, I mean, I'll just share with you what I, I shared with our football team is that, you know, I'm, I'm proud of their effort. Uh, you know, I think we play hard and all the intangibles, but, you know, when a team keeps making the same mistakes over and over and over and they're, they're not learning, um, you know, that, that's a sign of a, a team that's, that's not really well coached. You know, our job is to fix the mistakes, correct them so we don't repeat them. And, you know, after three turnovers last week, we had five turnovers tonight. And we're not going to beat, I mean, we're not going to beat anybody if we turn it over three times, let alone five times. So, you know, you walk out of a game that you make 29 first downs to their 13, and that tells you that physically you held up and you should be able to compete. You know, right now we're just we're beating ourselves. We're we're not giving ourselves a chance, um, and you know we we're probably never going to have that margin of error. I mean, no football team is. You turn it over five times. I'm, I'm sure the stats of winning that thing is like one percent. So again, I'm proud of our effort level. Uh, you know, this team has to grow and improve every week. And uh, you know, after last week, I I kind of was hoping we'd come out a little better and that we'd learn a lesson. And honestly, that part of it got worse. And you know, I'll I'll always own the responsibility for that. So you know, I think the bye week is coming at a good time. We've got to heal up, get healthy. We've got to evaluate what we're doing, and uh, and we've got to fix our mistakes because if we keep doing this, it's going to be a long next two months. Take any questions. Yeah, it's, it's a problem. And, you know, I told him last week, I said, the, your clock has to speed up and the defensive rush is going to speed up as we get in the ACC play and, you know, the rest of the way going, it's all power five teams. And, um, you know, it didn't happen. So, I mean, and, you know, credit them. They, they rushed us and they had some blitzes, but, you know, right now we're, we're it's, it's, it's a four week problem. You know, we're holding on to the ball too long. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, I think things always get fixed, right? You go back and, you know, you look at 2018 and that thing like looked like it was heading for the a disaster area and we made corrections and fixed things. And, and that's our job as coaches is to fix the mistakes and fix the problems. Um, and so it's, you know, we got to do this collectively. We've, we've got to coach it better, and the players got to take to the coaching and apply it. And, you know, you're going against a, a defense, right, that those guys are on scholarship, and they're good players too. And, um, but it's just we're, we're, we're making the same mistakes. And that's what really frustrates me is we're not learning. You know, we're, we're continuing to just, we're loose with the football, and five turnovers is, is awful. I mean, I to me, it's it's live football now, right? In fall camp, you don't get touched. Got the red jersey on, and you can get a pass rush, and those kids are taught to buzz by you and not touch you. And um, and that's always the hard thing at quarterback, right? Because there's a part of you that would like to make them live so they learn, but it's also the, the one position that really can't protect itself, and you don't want to risk an injury. And, um, you know, right now it's... I mean, it, it's not just the interceptions. I mean, we had you know the fumble, and there was another fumble. So I think there was you know they have us for you know I think four fumbles, and we lost two of them, and then we threw three picks. So that to me, we were you know seven times we gave them an opportunity to recover the ball. So we're I mean our ball security right now is just it's it's awful, and, and we take pride in that, and we've traditionally been a team that wins a turnover margin. And we're not giving ourselves a chance, and that's that's clearly problem number one right now. I know you're having to review the tape to get a, a more full sense, but did you get the perception that he was getting enough time in the pocket from the offensive line? 
I mean, at times and at times not. I mean, Spencer Clapp, I thought, gave us a great effort, but he didn't look completely healthy. Um, you, you know, they, they rushed us well, and uh, at, at times I thought the, the pocket got dented and collapsed pretty quickly. I thought in the second half it got better. We, we made an adjustment, and, you know, we moved Matt Gulbin to right tackle, and we put Devontae Gordon to left tackle and put George Sell at guard, and, and I thought the pocket got a little bit better just because the way they were rushing the passer, I thought our tackles had to be at full strength. And again, I, I appreciate what Spencer Clapp did, but he was probably, you know, 60%, 70%. And it's hard to pass pro when you're behind in the game and third and long when the other guy's teeing it off and he's 100%. You gave up five plays on defense of 30 yards or more. What's the answer to fixing how many explosive plays you had or didn't want? Yeah, I mean, I think you got to go back and say, you know, why did the explosive ha happen? And you know, I, you know, once there, and the we we they came out and empty, and we got the call in late, and the kids didn't get a chance to get aligned. And I think you know, we we kind of as a staff have to own that one, um, you know. And and the other ones, I, I don't I don't recall what they were right now. I'm just you know going nuts with the turnovers right now. That's those are the five plays, or I can't get out of my head. So, I mean, the explosives are a problem, but I don't think those necessarily cost us the game. I thought our defense at times did a good job of getting the ball down and playing the next down. Um, you know, Deshaun got beat on a, a corner route, which is going to happen. Um, and then I think the quarterback had a long run on the one late in the game. And at that point, you're, you're kind of blitzing and selling out and, and trying to get them off schedule and make a play. And sometimes when you do that, you know, you lose the third level of defense because you're in a zero safety defense. But um, again, I'm not trying to avoid it. I just can't remember them all right now. Dave, one more question. If you know, you one score with four minutes to go and you have the ball, I mean, you're feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, you think you're going to go to overtime. And again, it's just it's first down, throw it away, cut your loss. Right? It's we're, you know, the play broke down. He got flushed. Just throw it away. Don't force it. And let's come back on second down, and we'll get a good football play. It's, it's, uh, you know, I appreciate the competitiveness, but, you know, it's at times you got to cut the losses and live for another down. And, and that's, to me, what we're, you know, what we got to learn. It's part of the process. And we've had other quarterbacks. You know, I remember sitting here. You know, it was probably eight years ago against Louisville and. John Wolford, you know, threw a bunch of picks in the fourth quarter when we had a chance to win the game. And, you know, it's kind of a broken record, but sometimes when you break in a new quarterback, you, you go through these days. And, um, you know, John learned, I think Sam learned, and I think Mitch will learn. But it's, you know, it's, it's agonizing when you go through it. It's, it's hard, so it'll be, Couple of sleepless nights. Look at the film and get the bye week and try to make some corrections and figure out what we're doing and how we're doing and who we're doing it with and come back and we got eight more games. All right, thank you. Yeah.